Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Carla and it is nearly 20 to 11 here in the UK and I've decided to come on today to do my video that I've been meaning to do for a while um, especially over the past few weeks I've been seeing lots of different people's um, videos totally enjoying all the videos that I've been watching um, I've been joining in with a few chat groups it's been brilliant um, meeting new people it's something I really enjoy for people from all over the world it's you know technology has changed over the years and having YouTube and linking up with different people all across the world is I, I think it's amazing so um, I wanted to come on and uh, show you some completed completed projects that I've done and to show you something else um, show you the yarn that I'm going to be using for the 2020 challenge for those of you that um, I'm not sure about the 2020 challenge. It's something that Glenda from the Creative Grandma and Krista at the Secret Yarnery have um, come up together and have um, asked people to um, make something from the 20th of December and to show it on the, by the 20th of January 2020. Um, I, think, I think it's a fabulous idea. Um, I'm glad they're doing it because it certainly shows, um, you know, to get everybody together from all over the world showing their what they've made. I just think it's a brilliant idea. So um, I shall be showing you the yarn that I'm going to use for that. Um, so first of all, I would like to show you now this um, a pattern is. Um, I watched a tutorial um, from a lady called Ruby Steadman and um, it's for the Divine Hat and Cowl and um, I've actually been introduced <laughs> by watching somebody else's channel um, Rose from Rose Likes Crochet um, a fabulous lady Rose, hi there um, she's very inspirational is Rose uh, she does some fantastic videos she makes me chuckle and it's rose that's uh, introduced me to seeing this pattern she's you know it, it is beautiful pattern so i plucked up the courage found some fantastic yarn and that was that so here is so there we have the divine hat um i'm really impressed with this it's it's absolutely beautiful it's it's turned sorry about this it's actually turned out really really well the yarn is gorgeous um i will say i did have to frog um two rounds of this hat it took me a few goes because um obviously i was doing it through reading the pattern which i'm still learning to read about patterns but um i'm really chuffed with myself it did take a few goes to try and master it but once i had gone back to the picture then gone back to what i was doing um i finally sorted it and that was it i was on the way then so i'm so chuffed myself that i have managed to crack this pattern um as i've only been crocheting for two years now and i still find that i'm still such a beginner um and i'm in totally enjoying it so here is the divine hat and here is the gorgeous divine cowl um this was once i got going on this slightly different to making the hat i will say but um it's beautiful nonetheless absolutely beautiful and i made the cowl and the hat out of one skein and i had a slightly bit left over of the skein so i'm totally made up with that um this is this is the yarn that I used to make the hat and cowl. It's absolutely gorgeous and all that sparkle in it. Beautiful. Um, the colour number, lot number. And a 
excuse me, a four millimeter hook. I actually used a four point five hook to do it. Still had yarn left over from the skein. I mean, as you can see, gorgeous colours. They really are beautiful. Um, so, so thank you very much to Rose from Rose Likes Crochet for pointing me in the right direction for making the divine hat and cowl. So, I've also made a virus versus granny shawl. And I followed the path, I followed the YouTube tutorial from Fiber Spider, and um, very excellent tutorial. There's three parts of the tutorial, and uh, it's well worth a watch because uh, Fiber Spider's totally nailed that pattern extremely well, and um, his explanation of it all is just fantastic. So. Believe me, this doesn't do it justice when I show you this. And it looks at it looks dark on here. There we go. So as you can see, I'll quickly show it up. As you can see, it's turned out absolutely beautiful. Um, I really enjoyed making this. Um, it took about two and a half, three days to sort it, but once I got going on the pattern, that was it. Um, I just think it's it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, the yarn I used. for you. The yarn, the yarn I used was um, Ice Yarn and uh, the colourway, i just have to get this out for you, I'm sorry about the rustling, so hopefully you can see this clearly. Five eight zero two nine cakes blue navy lilac maroon and grey. So that's cakes blues, navy lilac, maroon, grey. Um I must say this ice yarn is beautiful to use, um but um this information here with the, the number on and obviously the detail of the colouring, um, it would actually be better if it was on the actual band of the yarn itself. I think it would be more helpful for people to who want to um, try it, um, at least then still keep the band um, around the yarn, rather than the fact that I've now got to obviously um, keep that plastic, you see, anyway. Um, so this is the this is the shawl. Um, I do have out of the three out of the three cakes that I had in this colourway. That's all I've got left. Just a small bit there. That's all I've got left. So just slightly under three cakes. It's taken me to make this. Absolutely, it's it's stunning. It. You know, filming this, the colours just don't do it justice on the camera. Um, so I hope you really like that. I'll just move it out of the way for a minute. And last but no means least, uh, the 2020 challenge. Right, so the yarn I'm going to be using is... Is this it is West Yorkshire spinners um, it is uh, 70 75% wool 25% nylon 
it's essential decay uh, a hundred grams ball I'm holding here um, it's actually made here in the UK and um, it says to use a four millimeter hook for it um, so I've got two balls I'm just using the other one to read the label for you and um, so yeah so it's um, doesn't actually does it say it doesn't actually say the colours it's just got a um, barcode number for it for the colour so unfortunately it doesn't actually have to tell I can't ex I can't tell you what sort of um, what the actual colourway is on it I can only info I can only go by the number um, so um, I'm going to be using I'm going to be using these. Oops. Make sure I'm <laughs> these. Sorry about that. So there we go. I'm going to be using these to do my. Um, I'm going to make a scarf for the 2020 challenge. Um, I'm only going to be making a granny square um, scarf. I've decided. I've actually seen one being made by Arnie and Carlos. Um, on their channel um, two fantastic blokes that crochet and knit and um, that's where I've seen the um, one of them making um, the granny squares into a scarf so that's what I'm going to do so um, I would really like to see um, everybody else join in with this um, I'm not actually going to tag anybody um, I'd just really, really like um, anybody um, to show what the, you know, to join in because um, I think it's a brilliant idea. Um, I'd just also like to say um, thank you very much to all my new subscribers over the past few weeks. I'm absolutely amazed. Um, I feel very humbled by having uh, new subscribers. My channel is. Um, slightly growing and I'm just so chuffed um, so thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing to my channel um, please persevere with me um, like I say I've only been crocheting two years now so um, hopefully into 2020 things will change and I should be doing a few other things to show you and We'll see what else comes up so thank you to all my subscribers thank you for sticking by me and take care of yourselves um, and see you in the new year bye